Today we're going to do a bit of a test. We're going to do a test to find out which of these flowers and blend of flowers produces the biggest and fluffiest and lightest crust. This came about because the other day I made a blend of Caputo Manitoba 25% and Molino Iacuan per pizza at 75% and the crusts just did not rise in the same way they did when I used Caputo Pizzeria Red. So I've made a pre-fermentation of 100% Caputo Pizzeria Red, 100% Iacuan per pizza, 25% Manitoba and 75% Iacuan and 100% Manitoba. We're going to be making four individual pizza balls and then cooking them in a traditional Italian wood oven to find out why my crust didn't rise like it did. I suspect it's the flour and this is where we're going to find out. For those of you who don't know, a bigger is a 100% flour, 75% water, 100% yeast pre-fermentation. We're going to leave that at room temperature for one hour, then we're going to put it in the fridge for 24 hours, after which we're going to combine the remaining 25% water and the salt in a planetary stand mixer. Then we're going to boil it up, um, fold it, boil it, put it in the fridge for another 24 hours, and then we're going to leave it at room temperature for six hours, reproducing exactly what I did the other day when my crust didn't rise. And uh, then we're going to cook it and find out. So see you yeah, tomorrow. So we're back 24 hours later. We've got the mixer ready. And we've got our caputo pre-fermentation, our yakapon pre-fermentation, our mix of Manitoba and yakapon pre-fermentation, and our pure Manitoba pre-fermentation. So now it's time to complete the dough and add 40 ml of water, 5 ml of salt, and mix it up into a lovely smooth dough using our Kenwood, sorry, KitchenAid machine. 40 ml of water, let's uh, start the machine up. And we're going to add the water little by little. Really very little by very little. This is our first batch, the pure Manitoba. Let's have a look at that. Nice. Okay, we'll get that off the hook. And onto the table. And we're gonna fold it. Nice and sticky. Not too bad, but look at that, it's lovely. I'm gonna fold it now. Okay, first one's been folded. We're gonna let that rest for five minutes and then fold it so again. While that is resting, we're going to mix up the Yakapoan Manitoba mix. stop it so you can see we've got clean walls everything's clean so oh, look at that dough that is looking very nice so at this stage we're going to add the salt so five grams of salt just before the last bit of water meanwhile our Manitoba Resting. And let's have a look at that. That's ready. Lovely. Okay, so in the meantime, before we pull this out, lovely and extensible, I'm going to fold this again and put it in its Manitoba pot, marked with an N, with some olive oil, uh, and that's going to go in the fridge. So, let's do okay. this. Here we are with the folds. Manitoba. 
W360, or 390 even. That's stiffening up. Okay, that's ready. So I'm just going to do a couple of rounds, rotations, and give it a surface. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we're going to put it in its pot, rub the walls with a bit of olive oil. One down, very smooth. Extensibility, so we're going to fold it. No oil, no water. See, it's not sticking. Okay, we're going to rest that one while we move on to the next pre-fermentation, which is the Iaquone, 100%. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Caputo. let it rest okay it's rested time to give it look at that beautiful dough This goes into the fridge now for another 24 hours. See you All the flowers, Yacon, Caputo, Manitoba, Yacon and Manitoba. Fire is lit and the oven is hot. I'm gonna start with the Yacon. It's coming.
Ho oh, iado pizza. Some parmesan, some olive oil, some basil. and some cheese. And a little bit of salami. Take the peel. Stretch it. Have a nice round pizza. To the fire. Fire. This is your corn. This one is ready. It's a nice pizza. Decent crust. No leoparding whatsoever. Number one. Yeah. This is your corn and Manitoba. Corn and Manitoba. That's how it looks. As a flower. Make it round, get some flour on it, pop it on here, parmesan. Basil. Olive oil. Cheese. Salam. And let's get it in the oven. Pinch, take it round. And let's go. Pull the next one out, this is Yaquon Manitoba. It's nice, good rise. Nice crust. Take it inside. Can you see the difference? Yakon, Yakon Manitoba. Soft and crunchy. Soft. Yakon Manitoba got the biggest crust so far. We have the Manitoba. All those are being treated in the same way. The Manitoba's looser. It comes out of the pot so much easier. It's nice, this. This feels very nice. It's full of air. Much better. I like it a lot. Let's take it off. Take off the flour a bit. I like that. Okay, let's shake the dough. So much softer. It's gonna stretch a lot better. I 
I'm making the crust the same around one inch on every pizza. We have a pizza. Tomato. Parmesan. Basil. Olive oil. Cheese. I got too much cheese. Fast, fast, fast. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Lots of cheese. Maybe not too much. Salami. Let's get it to the fire. Pinch, pinch, stretch, stretch, stretch for a 12 inch pizza. Let's go. Because already you can see the difference of the Manitoba leoparding bubbles straight away. Manitoba's coming out. Look at that. That's a totally different pizza. Look at that. What a crust. Let's take it inside. But what a crust. Manitoba by Caputo. A clear, soft and crunchy. Soft and crunchy. I mean, look, look at that by comparison. Yakapone, Yakapone Manitoba. Manitoba, it's completely different. Amazing. Well, the last one, Caputo Pizzeria Rosso. So let's release the dough. Let's see if this behaves more like the Manitoba and releases nicely. Yeah, yeah, that's coming out. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, a really nice shape. Very light. Very light. Troppo leggere. Questo farina. Questo è pasto, buono, this flour is nice. Okay, let's take it off, make the pizza. Don't mess it up. I'm trying to keep everything as uniform as possible, so there's very little difference between the pizzas. We have a pizza. Okay, tomato. This is the last one. And then we're judging. Tomato. Parmesan. Basil. I wish I had some people to test this for me in the taste department. Tomato is good, cheese is good. The salami. Let's take it to the fire. Straight 
stretch, 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 stretch. Let's go. Sneak preview. The foot is coming out. Again, look at the rise. Beautiful. Look at the rise on that crust. I think the Manitoba is slightly higher, but that is very nice as well. Let's take it inside. Caputo Red. Softest and maybe crunchiest. Manitoba. Also soft and crunchy. Big rise. Yakon with Manitoba 25%. Nice pizza, not so much rise. And the lowest rise of all is the Yakon on its own, 100% Yakon. Now, I'm gonna cut and we'll look at the structure. structure. This is Caputo Red. Beautiful. This is Caputo Manitoba. Look at that, beautiful. This is Manitoba Yakon, more dense, more close together, but still nice. And finally, Yakon, very dense. That's it. Let me know which one's the best. Mm, let's eat. <laughs>